What's up, boys and girls? Tweety here. If you love brewing potions as much as I do, you know that they are quite time-consuming. You get your, your bottles, you put your ingredient in, you wait, put in another ingredient after that. So I came up with this, and we're going to be doing a tutorial on it. This is a automated brewing system. All right. The uh, only thing you have to do is make sure that the chests up at the top are full. Basically, make sure that the uh, there's plenty of bottles and all the uh, ingredients are in the uh, the brew stands. So let's go over here and do it. No, first let's go over what you're going to need. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brew stand. Yep, that's how you make a brew stand. Redstone torches. Hope you know how to make those. Hoppers, repeaters. Uh, you really should know how to make chests, but that's how you make a chest. A trap chest is a tripwire hook and a chest, and a tripwire is iron ingot stick and an oak wood plank. Just like that. Um, you'll also need a block of your choice. I'm using the uh, orange stained brick here, or the orange stained um, clay blocks here. Alright, let's just get rid of some of that water there. And okay, so. You're gonna go three, oops, and go three blocks like that. Then you're gonna go down one, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up. On that over part, you're gonna add another block like that. So that one, so it was down, over, up, so that's over, and then one block down below. And we're going to have the torches to these blocks here. And then on top of these torches we add a block. And then from there we're going to add the redstone repeaters. Just like that. Uh, this is a regular chest so we're going to add a trap chest next to it. That way they can go right next to each other. And then let me move the brew stand closer to my hopper. It's going to be hopper, brew stand, hopper, brew stand, all the way up. You can make this as high as you want, uh, but I found that five is enough. So five brew stands is enough to do most of most of the uh, brewing um, that you're going to be doing, and then uh, redstone repeater, 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 facing away from the what you just built, and that is all for this part. The next big thing is the timing system. Now there's two timing systems here. First timing system, uh, well, let's, let me say how these work, okay? So uh, when the hopper is powered, it doesn't let anything go in or out of it. And so because uh, nothing can go in or out of this, whatever's inside the brew stand stays in the brew stand. And so how this works is it unpowers this one first which allows the bottles to come out. Then it repowers, making it so that nothing can come out of it, out of the brew stand. And then the next one will turn off, allowing anything that's in it to flow into uh, the brew stand. So we start up here at the top, uh, or we start here at the bottom. It'll drain what's in here, let stuff go in draining what's in this one and then allowing 
this one will turn off allowing uh, bottles to go in there and so on and so forth all the way up so there's that timing system and then there's the timing system for it actually how long it takes to brew and we get a redstone dust here because we don't need that either okay so this is the timing system for the actual brewing this is a hopper clock. Uh, there's 32 items in these hoppers, and they are just hoppers that are pointing at each other. Uh, two comparators, blocks, some redstone dust on either side, sticky pistons, and then in, in between a uh, um, redstone block. That redstone block goes to this uh, pulse emitter with 12 ticks. That goes into this system here. So that's the timing system for the actual brewing, how long it takes to brew. Uh, so let's go to the timing system that actually makes the bottom ones go, turns off this one for the right amount of time, turns it back on, and then turns this one off for the right amount of time, turning it back on before it turns this one off. And that is this system here. And as you can see, it's going up the line. Eh? 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 Yeah. And you can uh, make this as high as you want, but remember it's going to be deeper and quite a lot more repeaters here. So we have this checkerboard pattern thing here, and this is that first torch that you placed. <coughs> Going into that, you're going to put a redstone repeater with no delay, and then a block behind it. Down below is the repeater on top of a block, and then a repeater facing away from the machine, so away from the chests. Redstone dust, a torch, a torch, and then redstone repeaters, all on full delay going back towards the, uh, the machine. And then uh, two repeaters going away from the machine, redstone dust, redstone torch, redstone torch, repeaters going all the way back to the machine, full delay, and then two repeaters going away from the machine with full delay, and then redstone dust, torch, torch, repeaters going all the way back towards the machine, two away, redstone dust, torch, torch, and then this pattern keeps repeating itself um, after the, after that first initial one here. This one is the only one that's different. It only has one repeater, uh, dust, torch, torch. All the rest of them have two repeaters, uh, then a dust, torch, torch, so on. So pretty, uh, pretty long. Um, I haven't spent a whole lot of time trying to make it uh, more compact, but I'm sure there's probably a way. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and that is pretty much it. You just have to make sure to remember to, uh, like on this one, because this is the, oh, dang it, not there. <sighs> there. Uh, because this is where the timing system is everything from it needs to flow out away from it so all the uh, repeaters need to be pointing this direction and then everything on this side on the other side needs to be pointing the other direction and that's all there really is to this system is that couple timers now I've kind of decked it out over here a little bit more um, on top of that first uh, hopper at the very top, we have this row of hoppers on the top right here, and they're all pointing, going all the way around. These ones hold the water bottles. And when this unpowers, it allows water bottles to go into it and then flow into 
uh, the bruise stand and then each one goes down. Um, another one that I've added w is uh, pointing down into the brew stand is another hopper on all the top ones and then this line of of hoppers going all the way around. This is for the uh, nether wart. So this is a little storage system here. You put your nether wart in here and it funnels down and then goes into these hoppers here going all the way around. Um, you could make uh, all these hoppers down below with an item elevator like I have here. I have this item elevator set up for the uh, water bottles. And Gerbo came up with this very nice system. I really like to thank him. Uh, he helped me out a lot with uh, with the uh, with the design and coming up with the compact wiring system. Uh, but you're in survival mode. You hold shift and hold right click, right mouse button. Eventually. You know, if you have a full inventory, your items will start spilling out, and then the hoppers pick them up and go in. The only thing that I've done differently is like down here uh, is the item elevator. You put them in here, they go into a chest, which goes into the item elevator, uh, allowing everything to go up, up to the top. Um, not a whole lot else to the system. Uh, one more thing, if, like, this is doing the, uh, night vision, it only requires the nether wart and the golden carrot, so repeaters below that do not need to be in there, and you can even replace these, uh, brew stands with chests like this if you wish, but, uh, you know, I, I think this is plenty enough potions plus the five in here, the three that are in the in the brew stand, the five in this one, three in this brew stand going all the way up. That's plenty of potion and um, um, so yeah the repeaters can be removed unless like this last one here is my final stage it needs to have repeaters all the way up even though these two here don't have anything, they don't hold any uh, any potion ingredient, the uh, repeaters still need to be there or you'll start getting some weird uh, potions, mundane stuff and uh, things like that. It, it could screw it up, I'm not 100% sure. They might fix some of this uh, hopper stuff later. But um, yeah, if you look over here, here's my my timer here, and from this timer, everything goes to the left and the right. And uh, this is how I continue the signal around the corners. Um, you just have to make sure to block off the uh, redstone signal. You don't want all of these to connect to each other. Um, let's go over some fun facts. Uh, that's the amount of bottles that you're going to need just to fill up the chests, the hoppers, the brew stands up to here, this level. That doesn't include all the bottles in here or anything else. Um, oh yeah, there's 28 different potions here. This isn't all of them. Um, you can have splash potions of every single one of these, but uh, I skipped the, uh, like I only made, I didn't make regular poison. I only did the splash potion of poison. I only did the splash potion of harming. Um, because it's not really necessary, at least in my eyes, to have a regular potion of poisoning because you're not going to poison yourself. 
Unless that's what you're into. Um, another thing you're going to need uh, 840 iron ingots for all the hoppers and 28 brew stands or uh, 28 brew brewing potions and that's just these six hoppers here. Uh, you know, 6 times 5, 30, 30 times 28. Yeah, that's how many uh, pieces of iron. And it equates to 93 blocks. Yeah, that's right there. <laughs> Plus 3. Uh, what else we got? Uh, if you're going to want to do another, like this system here, with the... Uh, bottle delivery system with the hoppers going around the sides you're going to need another six well almost seven stacks and you'll need it like another seven stacks for these item hoppers for the um, for the nether wart and you know each level you're probably going to be using like another six stacks if you're going to make um, six or seven stacks if you're going to be making uh, these pipes that go to each and every single one. And then you just have all your ingredients in one spot like here. Oops. Um, and then those go all the way around. So I believe I've talked about everything. Uh, like it if you like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Let me know what you liked about the video in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my, uh, my channel. And we will see you next time. But until then, I'm out of here.